We're on the front end of the flu season, and the question is, what can you do to prevent or treat it? Sometimes it's as simple as going back to basics. Photojournalist Edgar Ibarra has a story. It's new at 6. First thing is you don't go to work or school or go out into the public if you have a fever, you have chills, body aches, you're coughing, you have a lot of congestion because you're very infectious at that point. Secondly, to prevent flu and to prevent it from spreading, you you want to wash your hands. The point is to get lots of friction because the friction gets all the bacteria and viruses off your hands and you got to get in between your fingers. This side, this side. A good way to infect all your coworkers and everybody around you is to sneeze right into your hands and then you're going to touch a surface, a keyboard or your cell phone and then you've got the, the virus or the bacteria everywhere. So a better way is to try to sneeze here into your elbow. <laughs> really important for everybody to get a flu vaccine, six-month-old children to four-year-old children. So we really encourage pregnant women to get their vaccines. It is safe in pregnancy. If you're 65 and older, it's really important for you to get a flu vaccine because you're at higher risk for complications, but you need to get a high-dose flu vaccine. Yeah.